Singaporeans should prepare themselves for dry spells. That was what Professor Asit K. Biswas, founder of Third World Centre for Water Management and visiting professor at Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy, said last week. When you have a drought period, the question is, how would Singapore manage its water for all the people, not a small group of people in the 65 hectares, for all Singaporeans, plus all its economic activities? Indeed, last month, Minister for the Environment and Water Resources Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan said that droughts are more worrisome than floods in Singapore. In the past 18 months, Singapore has been hit by flash floods which have caused residents much inconvenience and business losses. Despite that, Professor Biswas advised Singaporeans to look past the floods and be ready for dry spells instead. One way to do so is for Singaporeans to reduce water usage. In Singapore now, per capita water consumption is 154 litres per capita per day. In Hamburg, it's only 105. So there's a tremendous potential to bring it down. And I'm a little puzzled why so Singapore, the water use is so high. So we have to see why it is so high and whether it can be brought it down. And the second thing is we are seeing new developments in technology, especially of desalination, which I we would forecast that by 2025 will be reality. With developments in new water, Professor Biswas said that Singapore can be water self-sufficient in about 20 years. Singapore's water treaty with Malaysia ends in 2061. My feeling is by 2030, Singapore has a 80% chance of being self-sufficient in water if it plays its card correctly. For more of Professor Biswas' comments on Singapore's water management, watch the following clip.